So today I want to do a little tour of my garden, how it's developed, what some of the plants are and some of my future plans for it as well. So I've changed quite a lot of this garden back here since I've moved in. This is what it looked like before and this is what it's like now. I've added the greenhouse. There used to be many years ago an old greenhouse that was lent against this back wall you can see here where the wall was here is a very old picture of our house before it was even a house it used to be a stables and right in the middle here you can see that old greenhouse and when i first moved here this path was covered up so i decided to uncover it and also found these old like steps you can see buried under here, so I use them as the edge. And I'm hoping to put something down here, so because at the moment the path it doesn't really lead anywhere. Hoping, I'm thinking maybe like a wildlife pond. I had the idea because I saw a little frog hopping around here one day. This bed wasn't here, so I dug this out and made it, but I still wanted to keep a bit of lawn. It's good for the dog and the tortoise. Got Bronte's dinner. It started raining, so she abandoned it. I did initially just have the tortoise area over here, but I wanted her to have the whole lawn. Got this sunflower that I planted this year. It's done quite well, lots of heads on it. It'd be good to keep those flower heads on for the birds. Growing up the centre of this wall is a kiwi plant. I planted it last year and I've managed to train all the arms except for that one at the top. Hopefully I'll get some fruit next year. And then there's a rose growing up here. Over here in this corner is a campsis and I didn't realise it was flowering. I haven't seen it flower yet. In the bed we've got another canna. This is a thyme, some annual rebecca, verbena bonariensis, good old salvia hotlip. It's just taken over the entire path as well. This is a lobelia. And there's a fern here. This is it's getting taken over by the salvia. There's a few things under here that are just getting taken over by the salvia. I'm going to give it a good hat back this year. This is an atrium fern. Painted lady therm. This up here is a ruse. It's grown quite tall. I am definitely going to keep it in the pot because they just suck it everywhere like crazy. This conifer was a little tiny one I got. I have like a bedding scheme or something. And that just keeps growing. I think it's as tall as I am now, if not taller. I think it's a nice colour on that roost, that orange. It's very bright. Another bathroom. And another one there. Down here, this is the remains of a courgette. I don't think I'm going to get any more courgettes on it got mildew I just need to dig it up it's just taken over the path this is a hydrangea paniculata vanilla phrase I really like this it's done well this year when the flowers first come out they start off quite white and then they gradually get this like this blush of pink 
they've got quite big flower heads as well so they stand out nicely this is a elder a black elder sambucus black beauty i think i think i'm going to take this out next year i just don't think it goes very well it's quite dark and it takes up a lot of room grows very quickly i haven't got a lot of room might just put something more cottagey in there like a buddleia bring all the butterflies in another canna looks like it's just about to flower this is a veronica not at its best anymore but looked really good when it was with all the blue spires coming up there's a salvia down there i've got a rosemary that i'm trying to shape a bit to a bit of a like pyramid shape mainly just so it doesn't take up too much room this is an agastache an agastache not sure apricot sprite I like the colors of the flowers i think they'd go well with something like purpley or light purpley color but it's not hardy so i don't think it will survive ne till next year and then here we've got this ginormous echium but it hasn't flowered this year it's just got bigger and bigger and bigger so next year will probably flower they only live for two or three years they flat once they're flowered they're done but they put on these amazing tall spikes that hopefully should get really high but i'm not sure it will survive the winter that's the problem i kept it in the greenhouse last year but it's got so big this year i mean i'm not going to fit that in the greenhouse and I don't want to disturb it either so I'll fleece it and try and protect it over winter and if it survives I think it will be amazing next year this is the plants that go in Runty's area because she can eat them there's a buddleia it's called butterfly towers it's supposed to be tall and not take up too much room but I don't think it looks great you can't really see the flowers and this side kind of fell down there and I had to cut it off. Might put something different there. Got some calendula. This is a geranium. That looks pretty, lots of pretty pink flowers. Only a couple on there at the moment. Hosta, that looks nice when it's flowering. I've noticed this is too wet. It's got loads of livable. So I think what I'm gonna do next year is get some more plants and extend this area a little bit and i'm going to think of putting a still be in there and next year i'm also thinking i want to put more colorful annuals at the front of this bed maybe some zinnias i need to have a look at what seed i can sow so i think that will just brighten the whole thing up a bit look a bit more cottagey especially with a buddleia there and that gone a bit more colorful you know this here this keeps falling over every time it gets windy i need some way to like secure it a bit better this i put in for a clematis osma shira is one of those big flowered ones it's really nice big like it's got big pink flowers i mean that one hasn't quite done it justice again i'll put another morning glory here hasn't really done much this is a side bed what have i got in here some chives some weeds this verbena benariensis always does well i always just think it looks good all season it's a gladiolus i'm not actually sure what it is i don't even know where it came from it just turned up in my collection one day i quite like it it's a nice deep blue colour. I wasn't sure if it would survive our winter because we had that harsh winter but came back. Echinacea. It's not looking as bright as it was a few weeks ago but I like how it goes with the blue of the gladiolus. I've got a clematis here. It's cool. I've got these dark blue nodding flowers. I pruned it wrong last year. Actually flowers on last year's wood. But I thought it flowered on new wood, so I pruned it right down hard. And it ended up shooting really high 
and then flowering later on in the year up there when really it should be flowering in spring further down on last year's wood. So I'm going to leave it alone this year and see what happens. I'm also thinking of where I've taken that honeysuckle lot out over here, planting a different climber up here and I'm thinking I'm just going to do an annual one. Um, so I've bought some Thumbergia seeds which I will sow next year and it'll be like they're kind of pastely yellowy orangey colours and I think that'll go well with the pinks and the purples so that should look good for next year. Some Echiums I'm growing for next year. Got tomatoes. They seem to be doing all right but again I'm not sure how many are going to ripen up. Got some ripe ones down there this year. Pepper. Aubergine. I think I need to harvest that one. I think I'm going to make a vegetable lasagna with it. Some courgettes and onions, peppers. Mm. These are the delphiniums I've grown from seed, so I'm hoping to plant them in the garden next year. Some cuttings I've taken with the geraniums, they're actually doing alright. They were quite small, there wasn't much like, stem to them, so I wasn't sure if they'd take, but most of them seem to have. I've got lots of things in pots on this patio area, but there is one bed over here, mostly just salvias right now, they've kind of taken over. I think this is salvia patterns, it smells nice but it's not fully hardy, I had them in the greenhouse last year so I'm not sure I'm gonna overwinter all of them, it's a bit too much there anyway, thinking of doing a bit of a mixture next year, maybe putting a canna in, I've got some delphiniums I grew from seed, so I think they'll look quite good at the back there, as long as I can protect them from the slugs. What else do we have here? This, this one here is a gladiolus muralli. It's got a bit of a scent to it. I forgot to mention this lily hiding at the back here. There's a rose down here somewhere. I've only planted that this year, but I want it to grow up here. It's called the Generous Gardener, and it's a light pink colour, and it's got a gorgeous scent to it, which is why I wanted it right by the front door. Growing up here at the moment is a morning glory, heavenly blue. This tomato here, it's doing all right. We had a very windy day the other day and I found it down there, so I've put some ties on here. So what have we got in the pots here? Just some bedding really. Well, not entirely. Uh, some silver leaves in an area, some brown grass. Uh, this, Hutinia. It's got lovely colourful leaves and it has a scent that I think you either love or hate. I actually quite like it. Just some Nemesia, Petunias, not flowering much at the moment. Some Cyclamen that I planted the other week. I've painted this pot blue to match my shed over there. Quite like it, think I might paint some other things blue too. More bedding over here. Fuchsia, I think it's a trifilla. I'm not sure what variety, maybe corral or thalia. Coleus, I like a good coleus. I've taken some cuttings of that for next year. Canna, Canna Tropicana. It's done quite well. Finished flowering, putting some seed heads on. Some Adruga. Quite like the deep purple colour of those leaves, and it's got some flowers on it now as well. I think that's Adruga reptans. Mortinia. 
this hydrangea macrophylla this I inherited from my grandmother some of the flowers have gone over but there's some which are still going looking quite bright we have some blueberries I need to put them up really I think this pot has been strimmed so they definitely need a bit of TLC just got lavender this is a Enchianthus has these pretty drooping bell flowers in the springtime. In this pot is just some more bedding that I had left over, just petunias and geraniums, and a honeysuckle. I think this one is called Gold Flame. I did actually have this over here in this bed but it wasn't doing very well it kept getting powdery mildew I thought it wouldn't be too bad here because I know they don't like it too hot I thought it'd be a bit shaded especially down the bottom but actually the sun comes around this way in the afternoon when it's the hottest and it I think it just gets very warm and it wasn't happy there so this wall will actually be north facing so I won't get nearly as much sun it will get sun in the morning and as it grows up the top will get some sun on the top of the wall so I'm hoping it'll be a bit happier there and up here just some beetroot I planted bit late in the year but I think they're all right I think they're fattening up a bit in there hopefully I'll have some beetroot salads before the end of the year down the side here we've got a few more bits it's a bit of a mess down here this is like the wild area I let it grow I strim it every now and again this is a gooseberry that looks like it's been eaten Oh, well. here we have a pretty mechanopsis that's just sprung out of nowhere in the gravel. I really like it and I hope it will stay there. Or, you know, self seed a bit more. This is a sage. This is not a sage, it's a willow herb. Um, yeah. I've got a camellia here. It's called Crimson Candles. It's already putting some buds on. Though I have noticed it's looking a bit yellow. It has been sitting in this pot and I think it's just got too wet really. It's been a it's been a wet summer, I should have taken it out really. Got some trailing Lysimachia in the bottom. I think it's quite nice. Cord lime. This didn't do well over the winter. The top died off. So we ended up cutting it right back. And all these shoots that were coming up there were more than this. So I cut them off and I took cuttings with them. I'll do a video soon to see how they're getting on. I'm not sure if they're going to work or take. But I left three evenly spaced. And I thought that would look quite nice with three stems growing up. As long as we don't get another harsh winter. This is a Buddleia alternifolia. It's a bit of a different Buddleia. It has like blue flowers going all the way down the stem, like light blue colour in the springtime or May, early summer I'd say. This is just my wild area. I might strim it soon. Skimmia, got flowers coming. Again, also looking a bit yellow. Hmm. Got some more amaranthus. Not too sure they've done that well. But I like these pots. I've painted them this year. This blue, same blue as the shed and the pot. Thinking I'm going to plant something a bit more colourful in there next year. Thinking maybe some lan lantana, some bright petunias. We'll see. Some raspberries. They've done really well this year. 
got a bit messy. I haven't been able to contain them. Loads of fruit. I need to pick them really. Don't want them to go to waste. Mm. That's good. This bed, the last people who lived here, used it to throw away all their coal ash. And plants don't love coal ash. It has lots of stuff in it, heavy metals and stuff that aren't very good for them. So I've just put things in it that I've kind of had left over. Some bedding dahlias, these canners, which are actually doing all right. They're flowering quite nicely now. But as you can see, the leaves don't look very happy. And I think that's all the stuff that's in this bed. But I've also read that canners are very good at sucking up those like heavy metals and things. So hopefully they'll like remove some of the toxins from that bed. There's some Achillea around the back there, which also hasn't done very well here, but was taking over around the back, so I moved it here. I think that's covered everything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.